Hi everyone! Today I'm going to walk you through the steps for converting an Excel file to JSON in Power Automate. As a reminder, this will work the same way in Logic Apps as well. To perform this flow, we will be using the CloudMersive Document Conversion Connector. Now, to get things started, we will click Create. On this page, we will choose Instant Cloud Flow, type in a name for the flow, select Manually Trigger a Flow, and press Create. Now that we've reached the flow page, we can start putting together our function. Click New Step to input your source file. The Excel file I want to convert is in SharePoint, so I will type SharePoint Get File Content. Next, I will select my SharePoint site address and the file path. After this, we will add another step using a CloudMersive Document Conversion Connector, which is the connector with the green CloudMersive logo. Here, you will be shown a list of possible document conversion actions. We will pick the Convert Excel to JSON conversion action. It's important to note that if you've never used one of our connectors before, you will be prompted to enter your API key. This is free on the CloudMersive website with no commitment, and once you've entered it here, you won't be asked for it again. Now, I will add my file content from the previous action, as well as the file name. Now, for our last step, we're going to add a create file action for our output. I will choose the desired location for my file, including the SharePoint address and folder path. Then I will add a name for the file, ensuring that it ends with .json. But because of an issue in how Power Automate handles types, to reference the JSON output in the CloudMersive connector, we need to use an expression. This can be found in the video description below to copy and paste into your flow. After this, we will save our flow. It will take a moment to save the information, but once it's complete, we can click the test button. We will choose the manual option for testing the file, hit the second test button, and then continue. After that, we will click run flow and done. Here, you'll be informed if the flow was successful or not. And after clicking done, you will see green check marks next to all of the connectors showing that the flow worked. Sometimes it takes a second or two for all the check marks to appear, so don't stress if that happens to you. Now you can check your chosen folder for your newly converted JSON file. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to check back in for more tutorials and tips on using CloudMersive connectors in Power Automate.